eight evacuation orders and flood warnings affecting 14,455 residents are currently in place, and weather warning issued for the northern rivers, parts of the northern tablelands, and the mid-north coast. Residents in Lismore's CBD were told to leave the area by 4 p.m. on Tuesday, while those at Caracas Riverside Caravan Park have been told to evacuate by 7 p.m. Minister for Emergency Services and Resilience and Minister for Flood Recovery Steph Cook said it was a rapidly evolving weather and flooding situation and urged people in the northern rivers and the mid-north coast to heed the warnings of emergency services. Multiple evacuation orders have been issued for the flood-affected Northern Rivers region, including in Lismore's CBD and Karaki, with residents urged to leave in the coming hours. Mulambimbu resident Nitya Elmore used to love the sound of rain. But last night, as the rain fell, she felt like crying and her whole body tensed up. All she could think about is what happened four weeks ago, when in the middle of the night four weeks ago, and with no warning, Ms. Elamore's entire street went under. She made it out with just the essentials, a phone, charger, and some spare clothes. She spent days sheltering with three other strangers and two dogs in a house, where they rotated two-hour shifts at night and watched as the water continued to climb. When they tried to evacuate, they were told there was no help. Their best bet was to wave down whatever help floated past. On Monday night, as soon as word came through that heavy rain and flooding could impact the region, Ms. Elmore and her son made the decision to leave. While they've returned home in daylight, they are not sure if they will stay the night. I am on edge. I don't know what tonight is going to bring, she said. We just went through this in 2017, 2022, and a month later, we are preparing for it again. What does that say about the way we live on this earth?